In today's video guys, you will learn how you can send free payment reminders to your students on their WhatsApp automatically. So guys, for that, you just have to create a spreadsheet. So I have used Google Sheets application. In place of this, you can use any other spreadsheet builder as well. And in this spreadsheet, you have to add the details of the of your students, their WhatsApp numbers and their fee payment statuses. OK, and the due amounts if you want. And guys, after that, our workflow of automation is going to check the spreadsheet every day and see if there is any student whose payment is due and a reminder message will be delivered to that student on the on his or her WhatsApp automatically about the free payment status. OK, and we are going to set up this automation without any coding very easily. So let me show you how. So we are using Pavli Connect to set up this automation and this is the landing page of Pavli Connect. And guys, from here you can set up your free Pavli Connect account. So I have pasted this link in the description. So you can just sign up right now and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. OK, and after that you have to sign in and you will reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect like this. And guys, here you have to click on this create workflow button to set up the automation workflow. And here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as fee payment reminders on WhatsApp. OK, so after giving this name, you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is getting ready here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So in the trigger module, you have to connect the trigger application in which the trigger event is occurring. So trigger event is the event which kickstarts the workflow and the action is the consequence of the trigger or the response towards the trigger. OK, so here what we want, we want that this workflow should check this spreadsheet every day and see if there is any student whose payment, whose fee is not paid and the fee, fee is due. OK. So guys, for that, we need to schedule the running of this workflow on daily basis. For that, we have this scheduler feature you can see here. So select scheduler in the trigger. And here it is asking how often you want to run this workflow. So I want this workflow should run every day. So select every day option here. And here you can select a time as well on which this workflow is going to run automatically. So from this time column, I'm going to select the time as let's say 9 a.m. OK. Right, then click on save and you can see our workflow is scheduled to run every day at this time. OK, and guys, after that, uh, we want that this uh, uh, workflow should check this data and collect the details of those students whose payment are due. OK, so to find the details of only those students whose payment are due, we are going to connect the spreadsheet here in the section step. So search for Google Sheets here in this action step. OK, and in the action event would be look up spreadsheet rows. So we have the data of my students and their fees in the rows here. So I'm going to uh, search this. I'm going to select this look up spreadsheet rows option. And I'm with the help of this, I'm going to look for a specific term in this spreadsheet. So just select this, then click on connect. And from here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Google Sheets. And from here, you have to select the Google account by which you have created that spreadsheet. Now you have to provide some additional access to your Google account. So just click on continue from here and you will be connected with Google Sheets. So you can see the authorization is successful. And we are connected and here it is asking for the spreadsheets name. So the name of my spreadsheet is this fee status. OK, so you have to click here and it will show you the list of all the spreadsheets you have from here you can search for uh, the spreadsheet you are using so this is my spreadsheet fee status and from this select sheet option you have to select the name of your sheet so the name of my sheet is new no use so it got selected here and here it is asking for the lookup column so it is asking in which column you want to search for a specific term so guys here I want to search this G column and I want to search for this term not paid. OK, so I want to collect the details of only those students 
whose payments whose fee payment statuses are mentioned not paid here okay for that the lookup column would be the g column and the lookup value would be not paid okay so in the column lookup column option put capital g and in the lookup value put not paid as it is as you have mentioned in the spreadsheet n capitals and p capitals so i have put here as same not paid okay and here uh, to search it is asking include headers in the response you can make it true or false as you want and if you want to search the value from the top make it top or bottom bottom of the spreadsheet okay now click on save and send test request button and the details of the spreadsheet uh, and the details from the spreadsheet of those students whose payments are still due will be kept captured here okay but before this i am going to toggle this simple response button to off why i am doing this i'll tell you just click here and save and send test request all right and here you can see when you toggle this button to off the response will be captured in this array of data format you can see we got the details of those students whose pay fee payment statuses are not paid are captured here in this array of data format so we have gathered the data in this format because now we can separate this array in one by one form using a feature of pavli which is called iterator so in the next step i'm going to apply iterator and iterator will make this workflow run one by one starting from the first student whose payment status is not paid and it will continue and then go to second and third and so on okay so just click here on this plus icon and from this section step you have to search for iterator you can see iterator here select this and then it will ask for to select the array so you just have to click here and it will show you the previous step and the array in the drop down so from here you can map the response result array that you have got here okay this one now you just have to click on save and send test request button and it will start iterating the students like this now you can see started showing the details of the first student whose payment is due and it is coming from row number third so you can see in the row number third we have a student whose payment is status is not paid okay and the same student got collected here so this is how it is going to work one by one for each and every student now after getting the data of the student what we want we want to send a reminder message on whatsapp to the student for that just click here on this plus icon and from this section step connect with whatsapp so uh, to connect with whatsapp we need to have the access of whatsapp's api or application programming interface and to get that access we are going to use whatsapp's own cloud api platform so uh, before connecting the cloud api here you have to set up your cloud api system that means you have to connect your number with the cloud api and for that you can watch the video from the description guys we have created a dedicated video on how to connect the numbers on uh, cloud api okay after that you just have to search for whatsapp cloud api here and select this and in the action event you have to select this send template message option then click on connect and from here if you're making this connection for the very first time you have to select add new connection and here it will ask for the token of the cloud api the phone number id and the business account id so guys if you want to know more about these things and to how to make the connections you can just click here on this here text written in blue and you will reach the forum page of pavli and here you will find these two videos first videos for setting up the cloud api inside pavli connect then we have a video on generating the permanent access token of cloud api then we have all other informations related to it also on this page so you can learn many things from here and guys uh, to sh show you these things i can show you my setup of cloud api you can see here this is uh, my whatsapp cloud api platform setup and here we have this temporary access token so first they gave you temporary tokens guys but these tokens expires in 24 hours so you need to generate a permanent one and for that you can watch the video from the description or from this forum page okay and you will see a video here on generating the permanent token so you can watch the watch it generate the token and after that you have to paste the token here in this field and similarly you will find this phone number id here you can just copy it and paste it here and the business account id is here copy that and paste it here okay 
and after pasting all the things just click on save and you will be connected with the cloud api and this connection that you're making here will be saved in your account so if you want to make the connection again you can use the save connection as i have already um, i have already many save connections so i can use my save connections guys for that i just have to select this existing connection option and in this uh, here it will show you the list of all the save connections here that you have like this from here you can select any of your save connection i am going to choose this one and here now i just have to click on save and i'll be connected again like this okay so guys uh, here it is asking for the message templates name so a message template is a pre-created message structure that you need to create in whatsapp cloud api and using that template we can send messages to multiple people on whatsapp so for this purpose guys i have already created a template let me show you that so here you can see we have the send messages with the api option and here when you click on this here text uh, in blue and you will reach this page the message template section of cloud api and here you can search for the templates name so my template is this one school fee reminder template okay so you can see uh, this is how the message is going to look like when we are going to use this template here it is uh, saying hi akash akash is just a sample name of any student your payment of this amount is for this purpose is due please visit this link to view and pay your balance we offer financial assistance as well and this is a kind of message we can use okay so guys uh, you need to create such message templates beforehand before connecting the cloud api inside the workflow and if you want to know how to create such message templates you can watch the video from the description we have created a dedicated video on message template creation inside cloud api you can watch that and create a template okay and guys here in the message template you can see in the body box in the same message i have some placeholders placed here like this one two three four okay in double curly braces these are the body fields or the variables of the message that means we can change these four things in every new message like the name of the student the amount due and the due date or for the purpose of uh, or anything that you want you can place the placeholders like this and uh, let's map let's uh, connect with the template let me search for the template here in this template name field so the name of my template is this okay and after selecting the template you can see the language code and the template id is auto populated and here it is asking for the recipient's mobile number so here you have to place the whatsapp number of your students so we have captured the details of the students from the google spreadsheet and i have separated the details with the help of iterator so from this iterator i'm going to map this mobile number label into this step so you just have to click here and it will show you the previous steps in the drop down like this and from this iterator map the mobile number label okay <coughs> and here you have to place the whatsapp number in this format you can see with the country code 91 is for india and without any plus sign and here it is asking for the body fields okay so to get the details of these body fields change like this in every new message dynamically you need to map the values of these body fields here in the workflow so i'm going to map the data from the previous steps only so first body field is for the name of my student so just click here and from this iterator map the name label then here it is asking for the amount you will find the amount from the iterator also uh, this is the fee amount okay here you can uh, put the purpose of the fees like school fee or tuition fee or whatever kind of fee you are asking you can put it here and here you can put a payment link if you have i'm just putting the website address so you can put any kind other kind of link as well so the things that you are putting here manually are going to remain the same and the things that you are mapping here are going to change with every new message okay so it's better to map the things here because with every new message the details are going to change except for these two things this can these two things can be uh, the same okay 
So now you can check your connection with WhatsApp of your student by clicking on save and send test request button and a test message will be delivered to this WhatsApp number. So this is not an actual number. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to place my WhatsApp number here. Then I'm going to click on save and send test request button and I'll show you how the message is going to look like. So guys, I have clicked on save and send test request button and you can see a new message is received on my WhatsApp and the message is this. Hi dummy name, your payment of 25,000 for school fee is due. Please visit this link to view and pay. And this is the message. And in place of the body fields, you can see the name is placed, the amount is placed, the purpose of fee is placed, and the link is placed automatically because we have mapped the things here like this, okay? So this is how it is going to work guys. And we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually here. After that, whenever you are going to fill, uh, add the fee payment statuses here, the workflow is going to automatically check the statuses on regular basis, basis and the reminder messages will be sent to the students automatically. So guys, you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.